Right, we are back with the baby lotion. So going back to my first experiment with this, where we applied it inside the mold and then created some um, crazy kind of effects. What I want to try this time is to see if I can actually put one of my older pieces that I've made, for instance, inside and kind of give it a different vibe and a different look. Now, if you're like me, you probably have hundreds, if not thousands of things that you've made and you just don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so what I'm hoping is that A, this would work and B, it's going to kind of change um, and elevate our resin art. So what I'm going to do is experiment with this one first and then I'll probably try, try a few using the same technique off camera. So if you are new to my channel, I made these in hashtag 133. So check out that video and you'll see exactly how I made these. But if it does work, um, you could use this with Petri, you could use this with all, pretty much all forms of art that you create in this mould. So what I want to try is applying my baby lotion to this big heart. It helps if you open the top first. Top tip for you there. You won't get that anywhere else. <laughs> so I'm just applying just a blob. And what I'm hoping is that if I push this into that lotion, I don't want it to come over the top because I want a solid resin form around this heart. So I can just gently move that around and just spread it around the inside of the mold. It's easy to clean up if you make a mistake. And you can even use it in a needle tip bottle to get down any gaps. Just kind of bring it to a an even level all, all around and then once you're happy you can kind of if you wanted to just kind of make a an effect a textured effect in the baby lotion it's optional so what I'm hoping to do is use the nail powders on the back and the effect is going to kind of reflect the light around give it a really nice vibe. So you can do this with two part epoxy, we've tried it and it works, but for the purpose of the video I'm using UV resin, quick and easy. I'm just going to go around that and just fill it in and then go over the back of the smaller heart, which is going to hold everything in place, he hopes. <laughs> I'll just cover it but you do want to leave a gap wall. I, I want to leave a slight gap because I do want to give it a black background also. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to give that a two minute cure under my UV lamp. Ready for the next stage. Okay, so now that has cured. I'm going in with a colour that's going to complement the colour of the original heart. So this is like a purpley blue. So if I remember right, that was blue. So I'm now just going to do my usual and just dust that back and just cover it. Now you could do this any way you want if it works, um, especially with epoxy. You could do um, Petri, you could do whatever you want. Just give a different vibe to the pieces. Now what I'm also thinking moving forward, you could even make a heart, in a heart, in a heart. We'll take it one step at a time to begin with. Let's not run too fast. So now just a small amount of UV resin in my cup. And a little dash of black mica powder. Remember, not too much because you do want it to cure through. Uh, mix that up. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks, and to anyone new who has subscribed. And then just drizzle a thin coat on the back. And cure. Obviously, you need to spread it out. Use a silicon tip tool to do that. And cure. And then we can pop that out. And again, using my silicon tool, I'm just going to scrape away any of the excess lotion and pop it back in the mold. 
because it can be used again. Don't go cleaning it all off. Save it. Use it again and again and again and again and again. So before we see that one, I'm going to play around and we'll have a look at the end. So don't go skipping through to the end of the video just to see it. So I'm wondering if this white petri piece that I made, I'm wondering because you can see some negative space through there, whether the, the powder is going to shine through that. Obviously I'm going to skip through the whole process again, um, but I just want to show you what I'm thinking had another idea I don't know whether it's gonna work <laughs> mylar flakes and I'm just gonna cover the inside of that heart where that negative inner part is of the heart with the, with the flakes and see if that intensifies the color and then on the outside I'm just gonna dust the powder so I'm just pushing that down to make sure there's no sticky yappy bits because we don't want sharp bits do we and then cure that obviously before we dust. And then instead of a nail powder, I'm gonna try the interference powder. I'm just gonna go with a blue and I'm gonna repeat exactly what I did for the last piece with the black backing. Okay, so my brain has gone off and I'm wondering whether this will work also. I've just put some of the baby lotion on in half of the heart. I was gonna just keep it like this, but now I'm thinking what if I kind of draw in some kind of design into the lotion and then fill up this half with resin and then possibly I don't know I don't know where my brain's going with this possibly reinstating the piece I don't know I think I think what I need to do is just go with the flow. Just go with the flow and just see what happens. Nothing may come of it, but this is what my brain does. It just veers off <laughs> into other ways of thinking. Um, there's a lot of bubbles in there. Now what if I just went over the top of the lotion and then cleaned that out afterwards? So now my brain's going in from one idea straight into another. Um, to do that, I'm gonna need to flatten this area here just down a little bit so that I can create a backing I don't know what's going to happen. I think that will do. I'm going to go in with that idea instead. I'm going to cover that. And then try and just carefully work out any of the bubbles and blast them. Now this could be interesting. Okay, that was probably the best idea I've ever had. Well. <laughs> Since the swipe and wipe anyway, which was only a little while ago. But let's see what we've got. I made a few in different styles. So this is the first one that we did. Just adds a really different vibe. Such a cool effect. Some of them are better than the others. This one, it's kind of got like a cracked egg vibe, which has given me a different idea for something else using the oval mold the oval shape and they're not going to go anywhere they are solid and stuck um, this is the one where we used the flakes with the interference powder and you can see the interference powder does just as good a job as the nail powders it's a little bit off center so just be a bit more careful but that mylar is shining through really, really nicely. I really like that one. So I tried one with some Petri and the blue complements it really, really nicely. And it's got that really nice 3D effect. Very different to just dropping a piece inside the mold and then filling it up with resin because you lose that 
and we haven't lost it. So you don't have to use that bezel. It's a really cool way of just finishing off some pieces that you, you're just not sure what to do with. This one I really wasn't keen on. I know it's, I put the teardrop that way because I wanted the point to be pointing with the shape of the heart. I didn't leave myself much room to put a bale on though. But the powder really goes well, the backing powder in the right light goes really well with that inner piece. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. For this one, I just drilled through and attached a pinch bale just to show you a finished piece. Really, really stunning, catches your eye. But this last one that I just experimented with, I don't know whether to do a separate video on it. I mean, you pretty much saw what I did. I left enough space to be able to cover that lotion. So just bear that in mind. But look at this. That is incredible. Absolutely stunning. Imagine that in different colours. It's absolutely, look, you can, it looks like fire in there as well. That colour is insane. That would make a really nice pendant. Absolutely incredible. Let me know if you want more like this i mean i could experiment with lots of different kind of vibes and details but that is something else it's really really stunning right anyway i'm going to clean up <laughs> and i will see you for the next one bye for now